Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about turbulent T-Rex growth profiles. Growth profiles can be used when you want a custom building of layers rather than the normal standard for T-Rex. It is only available through scripting, and in this case, we're going to be applying it to a turbulent flow. If you wanted to implement it in your own glyph script, this is what the command the things you would need to enter, and the returns you would get from it. We'll need the Reynolds number, the characteristic length, and the Y plus value. And in return, we'll get a number of linear layers, which is the number of initial layers in which growth rate and growth rate acceleration will be one. We'll also get the number of layers after that initial growth rate in which the growth acceleration will be applied. We'll get the growth acceleration, which is what is applied to the number of acceleration layers, and we'll get the initial wall spacing based upon the Y plus input value. Here is an actual example of what that code might look like. You'll see that we set the Reynolds number, the characteristic length, and the Y plus. These are used to get the growth profile parameters, and those are then used to set the turbulent profile. We apply that to the wall domains, and then we apply it to the block. Or you could go to the PointWise GitHub page and download it right here. For this example, I'm going to use the GitHub Growth Profile script. You can see here I have two blocks, and I'm going to apply a turbulent profile to block one. If I go to block one, I can select it and check the boundary conditions and see that I have this surface set to a wall, the four sides set to a match, and this bottom set to off. I can execute the script, Growth Profiles. I set the profile type to turbulent. For this example, I'm going to use a Reynolds number of 5,000, a characteristic length of 1, and a Y plus of 1. Click OK. Even though the turbulent profile has been set, it hasn't been applied yet. In order to do that, I'll need to reinitialize the block. Now you can clearly see that block 1 is different than block 2, and that is due to the turbulent growth profile we just instituted. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.